everyone, welcome back to Trevor Golliger Drums. Uh, today I'm doing a little video. Uh, some of you might, might actually know, uh, just recently I bought this really big Gretsch Broadcaster rock kit. I usually play really small drum kits like jazz bop sizes, eight, 18, 12, 14, and my other kits actually are 20, 12, 14. So this is my first time in a long time owning a really big drum kit. This broadcaster's a 24 by 14 kick, 13 inch rack, oh, 13 by nine, and a 16 by 16 floor tom. And I've got it paired with, at the moment, it's not the snare drum I often use with this kit, but I've got a uh, Chicago, I'll just grab it here. This is a Chicago Drum and Restoration Company six inch mahogany three ply drum and i just this morning actually put on a new modern vintage medium aquarian drum head on it it's the first time i've used these heads i thought i'll just throw it on this mahogany snare drum just to check out if i actually like these heads or not i'm thinking further down the track of heading my bop kit all in these heads uh, including the toms but anyway I thought I'll just um, do a little video on this and also I've struggled a bit because I've had small drum kits most of my life to try and dial in this bass drum and um, I think I'm getting closer to it now what I've found even with these big toms and the and the bass drum by actually tuning them up a little bit higher than I normally would um, they seem to, you know, bring the shells a bit more alive. So you can hear that kick. Um, it's pretty big. And the toms, uh, I'm not quite happy where I've got the tuning, but it's uh, getting there. I've been playing around with the tuning of this and I'm, I'm getting closer to getting it dialed into where I want it. I, uh, I'm not playing actually, you know, big sort of aggressive rock with this big rock kit of all things. I'm actually playing a little bit more sort of um, rockabilly type music with it, but with a little bit more attitude, leaning forward on, on, this, on the music a bit more. So I wanted to have a big obnoxious kit to play that style of music. And I think this is working. Um, this new modern vintage Aquarian uh, head, medium, I think I'm really liking it on the snare drum. <laughs> about how I've tuned this uh, big rock kit. Uh, any suggestions on how I can um, even make it more big and round and fat? Um, by all means, um, um, by all means, just um, contact me and let me know. You know?
anyway, uh, I'm still, it's a, it's a work in progress, this dialing in of this big rock kit, but um, I hope you like the sound of it. Um, I love this kit. Um, well, all my drum kits I love because all my drum kits are Gretsch drum kits, and I love Gretsch drum kits. Well, I should, let me say that again. I love Gretsch toms and bass drums. Uh, they are not my favourite snare drum maker, but, you know, each, everyone's got their own flavour and taste. Most of the snare drums that I own are, are a brand called Canopus. Um, I just love Canopus snare drums. And I've got a, um, actually a very special snare drum coming in the not too dif distant future from Belgium. It's a Radio King uh, replica and it's, uh, I'm looking forward to getting that. I should have it in a few weeks. Once I get it, I will do a review on it. Um, these drums, it's made by a company called Lig Lig Lignum or something like that. I quite can't remember the name of it, but they're supposed to be really, really good drums. So um, I'll keep you informed on that. Thanks for watching, people. I hope uh, you like my little indulgence in how to key in and tune my um, big rock kit. Um, all my toms, well, actually, and the, and the bass drum too, I should have mentioned that um, I'm tuning the top and bottom heads, you know, very close together. If anything at all, the bottom head's a little bit lower than the top head. Um, here's, I'll show you here. This is the floor tom. That's the top head. That's the bottom. Here's this one. Uh, anyway, it's uh, they're roughly about the same. That also applies to the bass drum. If anything at all, the bottom head is slightly s lower than the top head. I just I prefer them that way. I used to tune the bottom head really high or higher than the top head, uh, and I thought it sounded better. Well, it does at me. Um, but out front, it actually sounds or projects better if I drop the bottom head just slightly below the top head. Um, even though it doesn't sound that way sitting here, but out front, it makes a big difference. So I've come to the conclusion that if I make my rezzo heads higher than my batter heads, I get all the sound back into my ears, but out front, I, it doesn't project. So if I make the bottom heads a little bit lower, I find I get much more projection, especially you know, when I'm playing acoustically, not mic'd up in a room. So it seems to be the case. Um, if you're wondering what heads I'm running on this big broadcaster kit, I've got coated ambassadors on all of the Rezo sides, and I've got uh, emperor coated emperors on the batter sides, including the bass drum. The only dampening I'm using is a felt strip on the batter side, and also the felt strip on the rezzo side on the bass drum. The two Tom Toms actually have dampers, but I haven't got them turned on, so they're fully open. Anyway, on that note, Thanks for watching people, stay safe, stay happy, go out there, play and make all your audiences feel joyful and happy in the world and on that note, please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video, bye!